first of all, how far do you think it is from Cleveland, Ohio to Jamestown, New York? Funny thing about measurements, measurements in time, distance, location, speed, things of that nature. We can be very simple with them like, oh, that girl's trying to chug a gallon of water. Or we can break things down. Do you mind? Or we can break things down in their most minuscule particles and really get ourselves confused. Remember this? You got anything to say now? First of all, how far do you think it is from Cleveland, Ohio to Jamestown, New York? About 170 miles. Get up in there. Can you get in there? Can you get in there? Good boy. Whoa, you barely made it. Good job, buddy. Or you could say if you took a mile and divided it into half miles, you could say it's 338 half miles from my driveway to Jamestown, New York. Well, you know, we can uh, break a mile down into a quarter mile. There's four quarters into a mile. So from my driveway to Jamestown, New York, it would be about 676 quarter miles. Right, Bo? How about if we break it down to eighth miles? There are eight one-eighth miles in a mile, so that would be about uh, 1,352 miles. Oh, no, eight miles from my driveway to Jamestown, downtown Jamestown, New York. How about 16 miles? That would be about 10,600 and... Uh, I'm gonna need a calculator to figure that one out. So you see, measurements can get kind of fractioned, fractured, and minute to the point that they can become confusing in everyday life, that is. How about time, measuring time? As you can see, there's quite a bit of time that's elapsed since the last episode when I was in a shop in a t-shirt uh, in the sunshine and uh, now I mean look at it it's overcast I think we're gonna get a snowstorm this evening buddy. You ready? You ready to rock and roll? Well, the thing about time is that we can also divide time up as well. For example, we can say that it's been, good boy, good boy, he's getting older. It's been about four months since the last episode, or I could break it down further. I could say it's about four months and 15 days. How about if I said it was 113 days between these episodes? See, I can keep breaking time down. I can actually break it down uh, by the hour. There's 12 hours in the day, so it'd be about 2,700 and maybe 12 hours. You can take hours and divide those by minutes. How about something like over 162,700 something. Okay, so what is this episode about? Well, it's about one of the most important measurements in the universe in my mind. Yet, it's one of the most needlessly overly complicated issues in my mind. And that's measuring notes. Now, I'm not talking about measuring the quality of notes. I'm talking about measuring the distance between two notes. 
Remember when you were a young person and in gym class, the gym teacher would put a cone at one end of the room and another cone at the other end of the room and you would run back and forth between those two cones? Well, those two cones had a fixed location in the universe and the distance between two fixed locations is called the interval. And that's what we're gonna talk about today, the distance between notes. Now, if you recall in episode number seven, we talked about how notes produce their sound through vibration patterns and how frequently they vibrate. Okay, let's take a note like a B note. Let's say it's vibrating about 494 times per second. Its neighbor C note, the very next note, would vibrate approximately 523 times per second. Well, we can take a piece of paper and a pencil or a calculator and figure out what's the difference in vibration patterns. That's important to know, but not for everyday use. I mean, if you wanna dive into how music works and that type of thing, that's valuable information. But for everyday information, we just need some basic information like what is the distance between that B note and that C note? And I'm telling you, it's crazy easy. And the distance between one note to another is ready. Drum roll, please. Pausing for effect. A step or a half a step. More commonly referred to as a whole step or a half a step. It's like a ruler that only is one inch long and you can only divide it into two, a half inch and then two halves make a whole. The way we measure the distance between two notes is either a whole step or a half a step. Now, with that newfound knowledge, I'll show you how to use it in the next episode. All the best.